Okay, it's been a bit, but I'm finally back with a Crown Zenith ETB. Figured this is a good enough thing to come back with. Um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't take a break because I wanted to. Uh, basically, second half of December leading up until uh, now. I haven't really had time to work on stuff. Uh, holiday season, getting slammed at work, having to go visit family in various different areas, and just no time to work on this stuff. I started getting back to shorts pretty quickly because I was able to knock some of those out like on, you know, some of my tired days after work. So if you're interested in shorts, that came back uh, pretty quickly. I do some fun stuff on there. But let's slide this thing out. We've done Crown Zenith before, so there's not a big need to go flying through this ETB. Well, like to, to take our time going through it. But yeah, I've definitely done this ETB before. I'm a big fan of our final Sword and Shield set. But yeah, uh, there actually was an interesting update there at the end of December. Um, my channel is officially somewhat monetized. Uh, I hit the first step, which basically means I had channel memberships and stuff like that. So if you feel like doing the membership thing, you can. I'm going to be posting some stuff for members, not, not videos, just community posts and stuff. So this is like the first announcement of it. You can check it out if you feel like it. Of course, like the like super thanks, whatever they call it, uh, stuff is all there too now. Um, but it's... It's not quite real monetization yet. It's YouTube's first step thing that they added. But we have our dividers here with red side on one. It should be yet blue on the other. Packet of energies. Then I'm probably gonna leave this one sealed because I normally open these, but might as well have one sealed. We have the Lucario V-Star promo that comes with this ETV. Then we have a code card for the whole thing. And finally, we have a packet of sleeves, which I don't ever use. And I have way too many official Pokemon sleeves. But finally, we are down to the packs. We have one, two, actually I actually don't remember how many are in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, they went to ten to then like the... Uh, for this set, normally it was 8 for Sword and Shield, then with Scarlet and Violet, they went to, what is it, 9 for the standard, 11 for the Pokemon Center versions? I don't remember. It's almost like it's been a little bit, plus, you know, waiting for new set to release. Uh, this should come out a little while before the new set releases, I assume. There's the code card. Uh, Sword and Shield, right, we still have to do pack tricks. Three to the front, I'm so used to Scarlet, did I just do three or is that, okay. I'm so used to Scarlet and Violet at this point. We have the Bisharp, the Graveler, Pokemon Catcher, the Chadot, Galarian, Mr. Mimes. Oh, there's something back there. Bidoof, Coughing, and we have the Galarian Gallery Mareep. I, I don't know if I have this. I think I've pulled this before, but I'm not sure. And we have the Raihan. Either way, always happy to get Galarian Galleries and uh, Illustration Rares and Special Illustration Rares and uh, Trainer Gallery and, oh my, I'm happy they stopped renaming them. I know they're technically different things, like the Trainer Gallery would feature the trainer on the card as well, and Galarian Gallery didn't, and Illustration Rare doesn't, and Special Illustration Rare doesn't. So what was the difference again? Um, anyways, next pack. We pull out the code card, flip it around, three to the front, one out the back, and we have the Dusclops, Energy Switch, Crocoroak, Pancham, Snow Runt, Rockruff, Tangela, Baltoy, Starly, and a Snorlax. Uh, I'm so, I'm, I keep saying I'm used to Scarlet and Violet. I forgot that hollows aren't guaranteed in this, so I guess I will put the price for that one on screen when it when it was originally pulled. And next, I don't like that hollows are guaranteed now. I've complained about that so many times. Like, I get it, it's kind of neat, you know, if, if you only casually collect, being able to just get a guaranteed hollow is kind of neat but it also just ruins any of the value or rarity of the hollows. Not that they were super high anyways, but I don't know, there, there was still something special if you at least got, like if you bought like a, a blister with like three or four packs, right? And you didn't get any good pulls. It'd still be kind of nice. Like, hey, at least I got like a hollow, right? You know, like there was one hollow pull in there. Uh, oh, okay. I'm just like ruining everything. Uh, okay. We have the Galarian Gallery Cynthia's Ambition. Um, I mean, I'm so out of the loop. I assume, because Cynthia's Ambition is a very popular card to use, 
that the Galarian Gallery form is going to be uh, pretty up there as well. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not even going to make a guess on value because I'm assuming that I'm either going to aim way too high or way too low. Uh, but very nice to have, and there was even a hollow energy behind it. Uh, don't know if these are like the value for these. I think are slowly going down because they've been doing or at least as of late they've done hollow energies in like a number of sets so i don't know if the value overall for these has gone down a bit but I mean, they're still always going to be needed and useful unlike most cards they don't really uh go away you kind of always need them all right next up we have another crown zenith pack what a shocker uh, i'm guessing that we are not going to be beating that cynthia's ambition that's probably <laughs> Going to be our best pull of the day. In fact, probably uh, the best I've gotten from Crown Zenith if I just had to throw a random guess out there. I feel like one of those ended up not where it's supposed to be. Uh, let's see. We have Uncommon, Uncommon, Uncommon. Okay, nope, nope. They all went in the right spot. I thought I accidentally like, slid it behind the first common. We have a Grubbin, Skrelp, Hilly Up, Tile, I assume. Wulu, Shinx, Friends in Sinnoh, and the Sizor. Yeah, it is really cold at least hit the first step to monetization. I, I do plan on trying to do some stuff for channel members. Uh, I've considered doing, like, exclusive shorts. I don't know if I'll do exclusive videos. Maybe I'll even do, like, a... Uh, you can watch the video early, but I don't know. I like to just get them out whenever I can. I don't know about doing the early access to stuff. I don't think my videos are that in demand anyways. Uh, anyways, we have a Lost Vacuum, Electric, Ultra Ball. But yeah, I don't have like super deep plans for it as of yet. Maybe eventually I'll, I'll branch it out some more. The big thing is I'm going to be uh, posting some stolen memes in the community posts and other fun stuff. But we have the Dunsparce uh, Galarian Gallery. I think I already have like two of that one, sadly. And we have the Zeraora. Next pack. We're not doing too bad so far. Hollow Energy, Cynthia's Ambition. We got the Mary, and we just got the Dunsparce. And we had a single Hollow, because, you know, those are still somewhat special in this set, at least. You do three to the front, one out the, whoop, uh, out the back. And we have the Carvine, Lost Vacuum, Lyron, Otis, uh, Seal, uh, Krikatai, I'm losing my, my brain, uh, Aeron, the Hollow Kyogre, and Rotom V-Star. We're just getting pull after pull today. I'm starting to think that, yeah, this was a good video to start back with. Yeah, uh, I already have this guy, and I'm guessing the value. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a guess on this one. Uh, $2.12. That's probably honestly aiming high. Uh, you guys will know how accurate I was. Next pack. How many do we have left? I believe, including this one, we have four. So we still have chances to get some more duds. But, you know, we're doing pretty good so far. I'd like to keep that running. The Crushing Hammer, Luxio, Ultra Ball, Execute, Rock Rough, Purloin, love this. There's something poking out. We're getting another thing. Okay, I didn't think it would be so soon. I was thinking it was going to be in the other slot, but we have the Galarian Gallery Leafy on V-Star. What is happening? Like, should I just start taking, like, two-week breaks more often? Just two weeks of no videos instead of two videos every week? And, and maybe I'll just keep getting good pull so every video can be like a i'm back uh let's do a video and the next you know two weeks later hey i'm sorry i took a break and you know maybe that's the, the luck that we need uh and behind that we have a mu v what what is happening this is the second the third pack for us to get two things in uh if you don't include hollows then the second pack but we have the fusion strike mu v i'm not even gonna try and guess value on that leafy on it's really hard to say uh, v stars are usually a bit lower than I think most people would anticipate, but it being a Galarian Gallery V star probably helps a lot, along with it being an evolution as well. People love their evolutions. Uh, next up, let's see. Uh, we're still three packs to go, and I know I keep revealing the back of the code cards, but that doesn't matter on Crown Zenith or I think any subset. It shouldn't matter. Um, I'm sure that there's an, an exemption to that rule, but. To my knowledge, the backing of the card doesn't matter for any subset. Uh, we'll see if Scarlet and Violet starts changing that up. Uh, Pokeball, Corefish, Galarian Gallery Pikachu. 
what are these pull rates? What What's happening? Granted, I already have this guy. I think I'm going to throw out 70 cents. He's going to be worth 70 cents. We'll see how accurate I was. I think it's official. I'm going to have to, you guys will see me in two weeks. I'm going to be taking a break for two weeks. And we'll come back with another Crown Zenith 10. Uh, not 10, uh, ETB. I don't know why I said 10. Or maybe, okay, so if this, if this pull rate thing just continues with me taking two week breaks, uh, maybe... I could just like pick and choose what set I want to have the good pulls from. So maybe I should just like go back real far, but we, we need to test it with non ETBs as well. Uh, we have the Wulu and the Snorlax. And on to our final pack, then we get to move on to the bonus card of the day, which luckily that box is still stacked currently. So pull out the code card, we do three to the front, one out the back, and Maybe we can get one last pull to end this off. We have the Tingala Baltoy Galarian Meowth Energy Retrieval. Okay, nothing in the reverse slot apparently because I keep ruining things in this video. And finally, a Sizor. Of course, we can't end off good. Where's the fun in that? If we pull one of the more boring cards out of the bonus card of the day segment today, which a uh, uh, description down there, um, I wouldn't be upset. I'd rather get a more boring card on a good video. So this is real beat up, the sleeve itself. Uh, God knows where I got this from. It's one of those... Okay, the opening is up there. It's just hard to open because it's beat to crap. Wow, even taking it out of the sleeve, I feel like it's damaging the card. It's not going back in. Whatever this was, still has a price on it. It is listed as a damaged card, and it, I bought it for $2. And they were correct. This card is damaged. There is a wrinkle going across the card right here. A lot of whitening. Uh, another wrinkle there. Another wrinkle there. Another one there. Of course, that's the real bad one right here in front of my thumb if that's showing okay. It usually helps if I get some glare on it. Yeah, very beat up card. This had to have been something that I was like, okay, for $2, I'm just happy to add it to the collection. That's my guess as to why I purchased whatever this is. As far as age, I'm assuming it's going to be a lot more vintage with just due to the condition that it's in. We have, oh, okay, from 2007, so not quite as old as I was thinking, uh, but this is from EX Power Keepers from back during the Ruby and Sapphire sets. Uh, I collect stamped cards, and that's the whole reason I bought this. I forgot that, you know, I would be willing to buy damaged cards if they were stamped, so that makes sense. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I am big on condition, obviously, I don't know who isn't. But sometimes if I can just get a good deal because the card's a bit beat, just to add something nice to my binder, then I go for it. And so this will be going into my stamped card collection. Very happy to add this Ralts. I'm not putting it back in that sleeve. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe down below, all that fun stuff. Maybe become a channel member now that that's a thing. I promise not to push it too hard. I might mention it at the end of some videos like this. But if you're looking for some more stuff to watch, there's only a playlist on screen of all of my Pokemon videos that I promise to keep updated every so often. You know what? I actually don't know. The last time I did a Crown Zenith ETB, if the polls were any good or not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and find that video and link the last uh, Crown Zenith ETB I did. I don't even know how long ago it was. So you can check that out if you're curious. Thank you guys very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see all of you guys next time. Goodbye for now.